meet the girl who defined a generation in the 1966 TV series, That Girl. Starring Marlo Thomas as a young aspiring actress navigating the challenges of the big city, this show became an instant hit. With a blend of humor, shock, and heartbreak, that girl takes you on a journey through life's ups and downs. Ever wondered if there's a particular scene that left a lasting impact on you? Or perhaps a cherished memory associated with this timeless series? Keep watching, because we've got some funny, shocking, and even sad facts coming your way. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're eager to read about the moments that made that girl special for you. Stay tuned for more anecdotes from fellow fans. Keep the nostalgia alive and remember, the best stories are the ones we share. In 1966, a TV series emerged that shaped an era and captured the nation's attention. That girl, starring Marlo Thomas as a young aspiring actress in the city, became a cultural phenomenon. The show's importance lies not just in its entertainment value, but in depicting a woman navigating life's complexities and pursuing her dreams in a changing world. Set against the backdrop of the 1960s, that girl blends humor, surprise, and heartbreak. The show's story weaves through life's ups and downs, offering a relatable look into the challenges faced by a determined young woman forging her path in a dynamic urban environment. One cannot discuss the show's impact without acknowledging its portrayal of a complex female character. Marlo Thomas's performance not only entertained, but also reflected the evolving roles and expectations of women during that time. The show became a reflection of societal changes and the resilience of individuals breaking free from traditional norms. As viewers tuned in each week, they found themselves immersed in that girl's world. The series not only entertained, but also resonated with viewers on a personal level, prompting reflections on their own journeys and aspirations. Each episode, filled with relatable moments, became a mirror reflecting the challenges and triumphs of viewers' lives. The 1966 TV series, That Girl, holds a special place in the hearts of many, not just as entertainment, but as a cultural touchstone. It left a lasting mark, shaping perceptions, and inspiring countless individuals to pursue their dreams. Whether through laughter, surprise, or tears, That Girl became more than just a show. It became a companion in the journey of self-discovery and empowerment. So as we take a nostalgic trip down memory lane, let's celebrate the lasting impact of That Girl. Share your cherished memories and experiences with this beloved series, for it's the stories we share that keep the nostalgia alive. That Girl, the 1966 TV series featuring Marlo Thomas, not only entertained audiences, but also left a lasting impression on television and media. The show's influence went beyond its original run, shaping the direction of subsequent TV programs, movies, and cultural narratives. In TV, that girl was a trailblazer in presenting a dynamic, independent female lead. Marlo Thomas's portrayal of a young woman navigating life and pursuing her dreams struck a chord with viewers. This depiction of a woman breaking free from traditional norms reflected the changing roles and expectations of women in the 1960s. Compared to other shows of that time, that girl stood out by blending humor, surprise, and heartbreak into its story, creating a compelling collection of relatable moments. Unlike its counterparts, that girl wasn't just about entertainment. It served as a mirror reflecting the challenges and triumphs of viewers' lives. The show's influence extended to movies and broader media, inspiring creators to embrace more nuanced and empowered portrayals of women. That girl's impact can be seen in subsequent works that embraced the idea of a woman forging her path in a dynamic urban setting, challenging societal norms and pursuing personal and professional fulfillment. While other shows of the era tried to capture the spirit of the times, that girl's lasting impact lies in its ability to connect with audiences on a personal level. It became more than just a show, it became a companion in the journey of self-discovery and empowerment for viewers across generations. In conclusion, that girl's impact on subsequent TV shows, movies, and media is undeniable. By presenting a dynamic female lead in a changing world, it left a lasting legacy that continues to shape narratives of empowerment and self-discovery in entertainment. Considered as a possible show title, Miss Independent was a nickname given to Marlo Thomas by Danny Thomas because she was very independent. This nickname reflected the main idea of that girl where Marlo Thomas played the main character, dealing with the challenges of a big city as a young aspiring actress. 
In the fifth season of the show, they changed how they filmed it by including more shots in different locations. The outside of Anne's apartment building became a part of the show's visuals, giving viewers a real connection to the character's city life. Some people watching the show noticed something interesting about the character Donald. They thought the name Donald wasn't as nice and wondered why the main character didn't go by the shorter and seemingly friendlier name Don. This small detail got viewers thinking about the characters and their names in the show. As that girl continued, these little details added more to the story, making it more interesting. The use of real places and the choices in character names were subtle but important parts that kept people interested. Anne's father, Lou, owned a restaurant called La Parisienne in the show. This added authenticity to the character's background, grounding her in a specific place and family business. Brewster, New York, served as Anne's hometown in the TV show. This small town origin contrasted with the busy city life she faced, highlighting the challenges of her journey as a young actress in a dynamic urban environment. The series had three distinct opening themes. The first season featured a calm instrumental, while seasons 2-4 introduced the familiar upbeat, jazzy instrumental style. The fifth season incorporated sung lyrics following the trend set by the successful Mary Tyler Moore show. Earl Hagen, known for his work on various themes, including The Andy Griffith Show, composed all the music for the opening sequences of That Girl. Miss Independent, a potential show title, was a nickname for Marlo Thomas given by Danny Thomas due to her independence. This nickname reflected the central theme of the show, where Thomas portrayed a young actress tackling the challenges of city life. In the fifth season, the filming approach evolved. More shots in different locations, including the exterior of Anne's apartment building, were integrated, providing viewers with a tangible connection to the character's city life. An interesting observation from viewers centered on the character Donald. Some questioned why he wasn't referred to as Don, considering it sounded friendlier. These subtle choices in character names sparked viewer engagement and added nuances to the unfolding narrative. The inclusion of real places and thoughtful character naming decisions in the show highlighted attention to detail. These elements contributed to the series' intrigue, making it more than just a source of entertainment, but a reflection of relatable moments and thoughtful storytelling. Marlo Thomas' familial ties extended onto the screen in That Girl as her father Danny Thomas made frequent cameo appearances. In one memorable episode, not only did her father make a cameo, but her sister Tear Thomas and brother Tony Thomas joined in, adding a personal touch to the show's dynamic. Venturing into unconventional territory, an animated adaptation titled That Girl in Wonderland emerged in 1973 as part of ABC Superstar Saturday movie series. This unique rendition featured Anne Marie envisioning herself in various iconic tales like Alice in Wonderland and The Wizard of Oz, showcasing a creative departure from the show's usual format. The evolution of that girl's theme song is an interesting facet. Initially, the 1966 season introduced an instrumental version, later replaced with lyrics. This subtle alteration reflected the show's adaptability and responsiveness to audience preferences, reinforcing its ability to stay attuned to the changing tastes of viewers.